And a foundation that helps underprivileged Native Hawaiian children is looking for a new CEO. And our Eddie Dowd says social media has erupted with discussion about who should qualify. The Liliuokalani Trust, named after Hawaii's last reigning queen, was established in 1909 meant to support orphans and children experiencing poverty. As of 2022, the fund was worth more than a billion dollars. Now there's debate about who should lead it. After four years as CEO, Don Harflinger is stepping down on June 17th to, quote, serve Native Hawaiians in new ways. The board appointed the trust's chief financial officer, Tina Keene, to serve as interim CEO. Now it's all about money and not no longer about the community, and the queen would be rolling in her grave. Kalama Oka'aina Niheyu is among the critics who want a Native Hawaiian in charge. She says her mother worked for the trust for 30 years running a community center in Punalu'u. The trust told us there is no leadership shakeup. Niheyu says there's recently been a high turnover of staff. For the late 20, 20, 2010s, what happened is they got rid of like almost all of the major leadership. They fired a ton of people. They made them walk out. Um, all of these people that had invested and done amazing work for decades. A social media post on Keene's new position has sparked more than 200 comments, including fierce debate over whether a queen's trust should be run by someone with or without Hawaiian ancestry. It would be irresponsible to say that you have to focus on that qualification. You can't just say, I'm Hawaiian and I deserve the job. You have to be able, it's a very big job, and we want it done right for the sake of our keiki and our future. If we have um, Native Hawaiian or Kanaka out there that are qualified, absolutely they should hold that seat, without a doubt, without question. I think that the leadership has moved from away from the trust that it was originally intended to do to take care of orphan and half-orphan ch Kanaka Mali children, and is now becoming progressively more corporatized. The trust declined an interview but said in a statement that its board will announce a plan for longer-term leadership later this year. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.